Hey Big Shot, you wanna find out how to make this animation in Final Cut Pro, even if you have no animation skills? We'll keep on watching to find out how. Hey Big Shot, my name is Daniel Ford and I help motivated entrepreneurs master the strategies of YouTube for their business so that they can get fresh leads and profits. Be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you can be updated every time I release a new video every Tuesday. So in today's video, I wanna show you how you can make an animated intro for your YouTube channel, just like the one I showed at the beginning. Now the one that I made at the beginning is really awesome because you don't have to have a lot of experience to do this. Let's hop into the program right now and I'll show you how you can do that. Okay, so looking inside this final intro right here, you can see that we have a lot of different assets in here. I actually got some of these from YouTube itself and it's really cool You could just go to YouTube and you could type in um, free green screen effects on YouTube Or you could type in free green screen effect transitions on YouTube and you'll find a ton of them on there Just copy the YouTube link and then just type in YouTube downloader online and you could find a whole host of YouTube downloaders I use some like online video converter.com or y2mate.com So I'm gonna link all the assets down below if you'd like to follow along in this video Just comment down below if you plan on following along with me. Oh, and by the way, I'm giving away free bonus at the end of this video. So if you plan on sticking around to the end of this video, be sure to snatch that free bonus before you leave. All right, so let's start making our YouTube animation. So the first step that I take is we wanna make our background. So we'll come over here to our titles and generators to solids under generators. And we're gonna grab just a plain white background and we'll bring that down onto the timeline. Close this off right here. The next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna make this laptop right here pop up with that little light bulb and we're gonna animate it going from the center all the way to the left. So the way you'll do that, you'll go over to your uploads. This is a green screen icon that you can use and I got this from 100 plus animated green screen icons. I use the light bulb and the laptop. So let's find the laptop, it's about right here. There's the problem right there is we have a green background. This laptop looks good. It's already animated for us. In order to get rid of that green background, we just have to select the laptop, go over to this effects panel right here over to King. I already have it selected in here. Just drag that on top and it'll immediately get rid of that green background for you so you have a nice clean looking animation. So we'll have that open up in the middle and it looks like we're gonna have our animation go all the way to the left. Okay so in order to animate the laptop you see to select the laptop clip down here in the timeline and then go over to this transform button and make sure that your playhead starts at the beginning of the clip or where you want to animate it at. In this case, I think I want to make my laptop animate and move to the left right when it finishes opening up. So I'll have it start about right here and then I'll make sure that this transform button is selected and you'll go over here to this top left corner and you're going to hit this diamond button and then you're going to move your playhead all the way over here and we're gonna finish by dragging this all the way over to the left. And this, and wherever I move the playhead at is that's where the animation is going to end. So I'm gonna move my laptop probably about right here. And I can always adjust this later if I don't like it. So it's it's totally easy to do. So don't freak out if you feel like you're gonna mess this up because I'm kind of guessing too at this point. So let's see what this looks like. So it opens up and it moves to the left. I can play with this later if I want to fix it some more. Okay, so my next step is to remove this pink background right here. So I'm gonna come back over to here and we're gonna place another keyer effect right on top of the laptop. So you'll notice as soon as I place the keyer on here that this got rid of the whole laptop right here and we don't want that to happen. It's because we've placed two keyer effects on here. So the way that we fix that is we'll open over here on on the, the side panel here. And this first key right here is the one that took away this green screen. And now we've added a second one and we want this one to focus on a specific color instead of just that green color. So what we'll do is we'll select sample color and then you'll bring it over the orange and you'll notice it brings back the rest of the laptop right there. So then we'll have that open up. And the next thing that we're gonna want to do is duplicate this bottom piece. So Command C, Command V. And the reason that we're gonna wanna do this is we're gonna wanna use this as the background for a laptop screen. So I know you can't see it now, but if stuff moves behind this laptop, you'll be able to see it through this screen. But now that we have this background here, it acts as if it's the back the background of the laptop. It blends in with that color right there. So now that you have this white background right here, we're gonna need to shrink this down. It is currently behind the laptop and that's where we want it at, but we wanna use it as a back screen. So we're gonna put it back here as if it's the back of the laptop. Now, if you notice, if we bring this above it, this is what it looks like right here. So we actually want it to come on the edges just a tad and then bring it behind the laptop right below the clip down here so that way it goes behind it. It's looking good so far. If it looks a little finicky later, we can always fix this. All right, let's see what that looks like so far. Okay, our next step is adding the little light bulb popping up right there. So I'll come back here to my 100 plus animated green screen icons and I'm gonna find my light bulb in here and let's bring the light bulb down to here. All right, select the light bulb and we're gonna come back over to here and we're gonna select here. We're gonna bring here right on top of the light bulb. You'll see the light bulb right there that gets rid of the green background. So our next step is 
is actually putting this light bulb inside of the laptop. So we'll grab the corners and we'll shrink it down. I'll hold down command as I grab the corner and let's put it in the middle of the laptop. Let's see what that looks like. And so that light bulb looks pretty good. Now the problem we're running into is the laptop closes. So we wanna keep it open. So let's go to the very end right about there and let's shorten our clip. And now let's go over to the speedometer and we'll go over here and hit hold. And this will basically freeze frame it. So that way we can define the length of how long we wanna have this laptop stay open. We're gonna have to make our background a little bit longer there. And the same thing goes for the light bulb. If we want the light bulb to stay in there longer, we're gonna have to freeze frame this light bulb as well. Cool, looking good so far. The next step is adding this logo right here. Okay, so let's come over here to the top and we'll bring this down to right here. Leave it at the start of this and we'll have it come all the way to the end right here. Um, it looks like this is a little big, so we're gonna have to shrink it down. So hold down Command, grab the corner there, and I'll probably put it about right there. I think that looks pretty good. So we're gonna make the really cool effect by having this reveal from behind the laptop. So the way that you do that is we'll animate it right when the laptop starts to move to the left. So we'll start it right here, select your logo, click the transform button, hit the keyframe button, and then move your playhead to where you want this to end. And I'm gonna probably have this end right when the laptop gets to there. So then I'll grab this middle part, and you can see it starts to animate as I bring it over to the right and it should be done. All right, so your next step, and now that it's animated, is we need to come over to here and we're gonna put a draw mask on top of this because what we're gonna do, our plan, is to have this be behind the laptop, this logo, and have it reveal just from behind the laptop. See how it's coming right behind the laptop right there? So we're gonna do the same thing right over here. So we're gonna select the logo, we're gonna drag a draw mask right on top of it, and we're gonna close off the effects panel right here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the playhead right when the laptop starts to move. So we'll put it right there. This is lined up perfectly. And if this is not popping up, just select, make sure that this little button's selected right here. Grab your draw mask, bring it down and make a rough rectangle and make sure that it connects right at the end. And once you've done that, then what we're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to the draw mask and you're gonna drag these control points right here and line them up on the edge of the computer right here. Okay, so once you have your draw mask lined up on the side of the computer, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna hit invert mask. This is gonna erase everything inside of this mask. It's gonna mask it out so you can't see it. Then we're gonna come over here to the control points and we're gonna add a keyframe right here. And this is going to animate all of these control points right here so that way we can have this text slowly reveal from behind the computer. And then you're gonna come down here to your keyboard you're gonna make sure that you're, you're gonna take the right arrow key and you're gonna press over to the right once. And this is gonna go frame by frame. As soon as you go over to the right once, you're gonna grab the edge of this little bar here, this draw mask, and you're gonna bring it back to the laptop because every time you move, it's gonna stay in place. So you gotta move it. And you'll see that your draw mask is slowly revealing this text right here that's coming out from behind the laptop. It's okay if it's not perfect. All right, so there it is. Let's see what it looks like. So looking good so far. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, and you want more cool tutorials like this that teach you how to make cool YouTube effects, I created a video on teaching you how to make Nick Nimmin's YouTube subscribe animation. I'll link it right here, as well as down in the description down below. So be sure to check that out. It's all in Final Cut Pro 10, and it's super easy. Okay, so our next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna add these little shapes right here. So the way you do that is we'll come over here to our titles and generators, come over here to solids, grab a custom black solid, bring it down to here, and let's just put this for now, at least at the top of the clip, and we'll select it. Let's turn this off, turn this off, and and make sure the clip is selected and go to the transform, grab the corner and hold down command. And let's bring it smaller. And basically you kind of just guess on the size here and then you can put it right under it. Make it look super fancy. The way I do this is I lower down the opacity up here. I brought mine anything down to like 40%. And if you want to make this smaller, this shape right here, you definitely can. You just gotta make sure the transform key is on and you can zoom in a little bit if you need to. We'll have this thing up here as soon as it hits its location the logo. So about right there. And to make it not so jarring when it comes in, we'll click Command T on the side of this and you'll see that it slowly fades in. And now we'll create two of these. I hit Command C and make sure that you select the transition and you select this clip in order to duplicate this. Hit Command V on top and then we'll grab this so that way we can create another line right on top. Cool, looking good so far. And like I said before, I can always adjust this later if I don't like it. Okay, your last step is coming over here to the top left corner and adding this cool little colorful transition in the background. So the way that you do that, I go over here to the 500 professional green screen transitions. There's these cool little transitions that you can put in the background. Same case as before, there's this green back here. We're gonna have to make a keyer to get rid of that green. So bring the keyer on it. And then I'm gonna put this underneath everything. 
And there's my little square. So let's fix my white little square. And then let's bring this to the right. Looking good so far. Now, just to add little tiny effects to make this a little better, I can always come down here to the background. Just hit Command-6, and then we're going to go to the color board here, and we're gonna add a little mask to add around the background right here. And then go over here to the exposure and go to outside and we are going to lower this exposure. And what this will do is this is going to focus in on this background so that way everything looks a lot more focused and smooth. There's not much dead space out there. And then you can just grab the sides here if you want to feather it. Looking good so far. So the last few steps really are to complete this, to make it look really good, is to add sound effects. And all I did is I just added a bunch of sound effects on here that I had on my computer. You could use this ding sound effect for when the, uh, the light bulb turns on right here. You could add a electronic hick right here. I used FX hit 24 in Final Cut Pro 10, and this is for when the computer kind of boots up at the beginning. And then I added a cool little computer mouse clicking sound for when the light bulb shoots up. And then I add a, comp a computer keyboard as well from Final Cut Pro 10. So we'll have it type, and then it, right when it clicks, this thing pops up right here. And then I added a whoosh sound effect that I got from Ryan Nangle's YouTube channel. He gives away a bunch of these free sound effects. So if you're curious where I got that from, go check out his channel and we'll see this whoosh come out as soon as this reveals from behind there. Really the final step with all of this is just adding the music to it. And I get all my music from Soundstripe. It's actually a paid service. It's about 15 bucks a month. I'm not being paid to say this, but it's a, it's a great website if you're looking for YouTube video music. So let's just bring our song over here that I already made. Looking good so far. By the way, I created a free YouTube animation pack that can help you get started on your YouTube channel. It has all the essential graphics that you need, like, subscribe, and all these fun little graphics that you can use for your channel. They're super easy to use. If you want to grab that pack, there's a link in the description for that, or you can grab it right here. And thanks for watching Big Shot. I'll see you next time.